Back to Ember, thank you. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so next one here is from the Game Audio subreddit. And I don't think that they know we're even doing this, so I doubt they're here. If they are, that's a crazy coincidence. But I don't think so. So let's go ahead and have a look at Jackson Turner. Here we go. This is going to be a Halo 5 redesign. Okay, here we go. Boom. Thanks, Ember. Thank you. And we'll crank this back up again. Boom. Please. Thank you. Oh, right away, music by Two Steps From Hell. All right, so, well, I, I don't know if there's a website or anything, but here is the, here is the demo they posted. Halo 5. Oh, damn, heavy guns again. I think there was a Halo 5 trailer recently, wasn't there? Where they, like, dive down the hillside and stuff? Is this the, this the one? Cut the music, says Matt. Yes, cut the music, Jackson. Kill off the music, man. Kill my side chain too. Oh, it's done. <laughs> okay. It's done. It's just like, just like that. It's done. All right. Thank you, Jackson. Okay, so Matt right away says, as usual, missing lots of the off-screen action world building. Absolutely. Joey says, I don't entirely agree with no music in every instance, Matt. Sometimes it's about showing a mixing ability with all elements included. Um, whoa, and says, <laughs> Joey, yeah, it's done. See, it's true, and really, what it comes down to is what you want to get across. If it's like a mixing reel, then, yeah, that's, it, it's tricky. Because I think as a sound design piece, saying here is my sound design ability, it should be sound design only. That's my, that's my position. If it's a fan trailer, like the one that Jeff made for Dark Souls, then that makes sense. He pulls in Hans Zimmer, does a thing for fun. Jeff's already got, like... He's gainfully employed as it is. He's just doing it for fun. He's like, here we go, fan trailer, it's online, have a good time with that. And I got some love from like r slash Dark Souls and stuff. But that's not being put up to show Jeff's sound design ability, you know? It's being put up to be a full, a full cohesive piece that is meant to sound on its own. But as a, as a potential employer at Blizzard or Bethesda or something, this kind of thing is all well and good to show mixing, but they're probably not looking to hire somebody. For example, if you're a student, you probably wouldn't be doing the mixing on their trailers. You'd be doing some sound design here and there with somebody overlooking every, or overseeing everything you're doing. So as the guy who will probably be, consider that the person looking at your resume will probably be, in many cases, at least somewhat involved in overseeing what you would be doing as an employee there. I think showing them what they can, they can expect to see is much more relevant than showing them a mix. Does that make sense? But it also depends on what you're looking to show. If you're looking to uh, a, you know, apply for a relatively small studio or a single developer or something and say, hey, I want to work for you, something like that can be very, uh, very impressive. It can be very, it, it, can, it can tickle the senses, you know? <clears throat> so Matt says, generally, if I'm looking for a sound designer, I'm much less concerned, sorry, I'm less concerned with mix abilities. I know how much I hide when I'm pushing a trailer at the door for a straight SFX reel, I want to be sure you're not missing anything. Absolutely, like you, I, you actively miss things. You choose to because there's no point in doing tiny like cloth foley rustles and stuff as they walk along if there's music just cranked up, right? Of course. But if it's sound design only, you want to make sure that if that does need to be heard, they can do it right. Hey, the toaster that failed. What's up? Uh, okay, so let's look at the actual design of this thing and also. 
presentation. First off, um, so standalone. Halo 5 complete re-SFX, music by two steps from hell. Great. But there is nothing here that says anything about who you are and how I can get in touch. Let's say for a moment that I knew the guy who did this trailer, and I was really impressed by your work, and I was like, hey, you should check out this trailer guy. And I send this to, you know, that audio director. And they watch it, they go, hey, this is great. Uh, who is this guy? Jackson Turner, okay. But there's no site here, there's no contact info, there's nothing on the, on the, on the demo. It's very dangerous. I mean, if you have no way, you're making it real hard for someone to, to find out how to get in touch. Let's just see here. Um, this is... Okay, so I don't see anything else as far as uh, contact info anywhere. Like, are you looking to get hired, man? That's a question. I don't know if you're looking to get hired somewhere. Or if you're just doing it for this for fun, if you're like working as a something else somewhere. But if you're looking to, yeah, for practice, maybe he's already employed somewhere. I have no idea. It's very possible. In which case, he doesn't care. That's if you don't, if you don't care, then great. <laughs> then I take back everything I've said. But if you do care, then get that info in there, man. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. So as far as design goes, let's go through this thing. I'll go full screen again. This is fine to start. But like like Matt says, it's very focused on like what's here, you know? And sometimes what's here, and sometimes what's here. But never what's like over here, you know, off screen. I shouldn't say never, but not as much as it should be probably. That sounds good. That could be larger probably. The ships could be larger also, or there at all. I'm gonna turn my side chain on. I saw this right away, by the way, when I watched the first time. The uh, the sound of hitting the ground, like, boom, and roll and slide, all this kind of... If it's like snow, I guess it's snow? Yeah. It'd be low in the mix, but it's just absent entirely. Boulder break sounds great. Little metal footstep there, nice little, nice little, little detail. The ship is absent here. There's a bit of ambient change, kind of nice. Man, I'd love to hear that with sound effects only. There's so much going on. I feel like you're robbing yourself. All the jets on the dudes. <clears throat> Sorry, one Mr. Bean. Here's my amazing SFX reel. Don't contact me. I'll contact you. <laughs> I know you're gonna love it. All the jets and the dudes. I'm not hearing as much as I like. And I think what I do hear just sounds like white noise bursts. Yeah, all that movement's missing. Yeah, the the foley's kind of absent. Um, the big kind of this is. I want to hear more of this actually. It's really big in this in this shot. Boom. Hits. Crumbles. There's some debris there, it's like not much though. Yeah, these hero moments sound sweet, you know? They're great. Weird ending, too. Very weird ending. I mean, why not throw another five seconds of silence, or rather not silence, but blackness, and just let it tail off from that last impact. <sighs> just have it flow a bit better. Showing flow is pretty important, too, as far as, um, you know, as a sound designer, showing that you can make things bookended nicely, bookended nicely, and, you know, have some, have some good phrasing. So... <clears throat> Yeah, overall, it's like pretty cool, man. Like, it's great. Just it's it's like eighty percent, maybe even like eighty-five percent. You know, it's it's pretty damn close to being where it probably should be. But it's it's like really good. 
It's great. It's a great trailer, but like it's uh, it's just not quite there. It's it's certainly a good thing to leave people wanting to hear more, but uh, I I just want to hear the sound only. It's so cool. Like why not just let it sound on its own? It probably can stand on its own. If you fill to that last twenty percent or last fifteen percent, then uh, having it—I mean, it could easily stand on its own. So why not, right? Okay. So <laughs> Omega, have we gotten any really awesome applications? Something makes you go, you know, I'd kick out kick out joy for this guy. Uh, I think Barney Orm was probably the best one so far that we've seen. He was definitely up there. Uh, but it was it was mainly because it wasn't even like he had the, like the by far best sound design, but just overall it was the most well-rounded and presented um, demo reel and, and website and such. Pretty good. Uh, Matt says, has good moments that still scroll at lower than 85% done. You think so, eh? My boy. <laughs> Babby J. Hey, Griff, this is amazing insight and trailer for my completely untrained ears. Hey, cheers, yo. Good to see ya. Uh, I think that's all for the time being. I don't really have any need. I'm, I'm, well, I'm curious to see the other stuff, though. Because I don't see a website here. Like, does he have a site? Batman, Halo, Sound Design Reel. Well, here's a reel. Five minutes. Oh, my goodness. Yo, this is porny. Winter Soldier. This is cool. All right. It's not like that relevant to what I care about, but... That's neat. Yeah, it's like not quite all there. Okay, well, carrying on. This is a that's a long clip. A minute and thirty for the one clip. It's way too long. Well, when's, it, when's this from? This is from April. It's not that long ago. Oh, you can't, you can't put that music on this, man. You're just leaning on it. That's pretty loud. Oh, I can't keep listening to it. It's, it's so, so abrasive. There's a lot hap happening. Holy, holy, a lot happening. Um, <laughs> oh damn, trying to read you Star Wars. Yeah, wow. It's like, it's not, it's, it's really full, but man, there's some stuff in there that shouldn't be in there. Like, this is among, that's the biggest of boosts to fill. Like, maybe the biggest, right? Like, actually, perhaps the biggest boots. Scary. This is, this is scary. I would never want to, uh. Oh, man, it's a lot of highs. A whole lot of highs. Here we go. And now Arkham Knight. Music by? Music by whom? Music by? You gotta kill this music, man. All right, carrying on. Oh, it's still going. Jeez. World of Warcraft. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh man. Okay. Yeah, nothing without music, eh, Matt? I, I gotta wonder what this guy's deal is. Like Jackson, if you ever watch this, I may post this to the uh, to the R slash Game Audio thread, just so you can watch this later. But like, feel free to get in touch and tell me. I'm really curious. Like, are you looking to get work, or are you? Because we're at the end. We're at the end of this trailer. Let, let's see this end here. Done. And again, no contact info. Who are you, man? Is it here? Oh, man. I If you're looking at work, man, you're making it real hard to hire you. Oh, man. Okay, so this reel, shorten it by... It should be 20%. Like, it should be this, this long right here. This long. Include a clip from all these. If you like all of them, and pick your favorite 10 seconds, you know? Pick your favorite 20 seconds. And just put it in. But like how yeah, how not to ever get hired. Exactly, Matt says. This is like it's it's a joke, but it's true. Like if I let, let's say for a second I watched this and I was blown away and I need you on my team today. How do I get in touch, dude? Like a Reddit message? That's asking a lot, isn't it? Yeah, scary. Scary stuff. Alright, well anyways, it's now almost five o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and turn